We'll guide you through how to fix Bluetooth missing or not showing in Windows 11. If you find this useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. This can be super annoying as it means you can't then go and use Bluetooth. So you may find that it's missing from the internet and sound page here, not showing. And also when you go and open up your settings as well, you don't have the on and off switch. So first of all, come to the bottom of your computer and go and right click on the start windows button and you want to click on device manager. Then what you want to do is go and find the Bluetooth section. If you do have one, then you can go to the left and expand it. If you don't keep watching, we'll show you how you can fix that. After you expand it, go and find your adapter. If, if it's not showing, don't worry, we'll cover that in a moment as well. If you find it though, right click on it. And if there's the option enable device, go and click on it. If when you right click on it, it says disable, it means it's already enabled. But after enabling it, they, that may go and solve the problem. As you can see, I've now got the Bluetooth option. However, if that doesn't solve your problem, but you can still see it here, right click on it. You can click on update driver, do an automatic search, and it will go and see if there's anything available. If there are, it will go and be installed. If that doesn't work or it's not showing there, then what you want to try doing is downloading the manufacturer's drivers. So what you can do is go to the manufacturer's site. All you need to do is go and type in your motherboard make and model or your laptop make and model. And you can then type in Bluetooth drivers and you should be able to find them, download them and install them. And it's really worth restarting your computer and hopefully it will then go and appear here. If after doing those steps, it still doesn't work, come to the bottom of your computer and click on search and you want to go and type in control panel. Go and click on hardware and sound and then click on power options. Then what you want to do is go over to the left and click on choose what the power buttons do. Go and click on change settings that are currently unavailable and try disabling turn on fast startup like so. Go and click on save changes at the bottom. And what you can then do is go and turn your computer on and off and then go and see if it goes and appears. If that doesn't solve the problem, then come to the bottom of your computer and click on search and type in command prompt, right click and click on run as administrator. You'll get a security pop-up which you need to agree to. Come into the description of this video and go and copy the first line. It goes and looks like this and go and press enter and this will go and scan. Just go and wait. After that's run, come back to the description and you can go and copy the next line. Right click in command prompt to paste it and it should then go and run. Now go and wait for this. After that's finished, you can go and close this and go and restart your computer. After your computer has restarted, go and see if Bluetooth is now showing. Hopefully it is.